Hey there, this is Brian with another Moto 10 series quick clip. This time we're going to talk about the new UDIM wizard. So I've got my UVs laid out here, but I've decided that I need way more texture space, so I'm going to start working with my UDIMs. Uh, but first, to keep things a little easier to understand, I'm going to change some display properties. So I'm going to set my low spans to zero, because I never use them. I'm going to set my U spans to 10, and I'm going to set my V spans just 2. And under visibility, I'm going to turn on my UDIM numbers. It just makes things easier for me, and they'll make more sense later on. So now we can see each one 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 5, and 0, 20. Okay, so I need to spread these shells out across these, so I'm going to pack UVs. This has been in since 901, but I love it, so let's use it. I'm going to pack them across in 10 and pack them vertically by 2, so let's pack them. Let's give it a second. Boom. We're all set. Okay, so all our UVs are laid out, the UDIMs are good to go, and now we need images for each UDIM. And it would be painful to have to try and do this one at a time and offset them. And this is where the UDIM wizard comes in. So with the Hippo Texture Group selected, I'm going to add layer, image map, new UDIMs. I'm going to choose a folder, Hippo UDIMs, choose. And here's the wizard. Uh, so let's give it a file name called Hippo Bake. Uh, the UDIM range is 001. And because we put our numbers in, we know that this is ending at 1020. And let's go with 1K maps. I'm just going to do RGBA. I'll set the color, I'll make them gray. And we'll do PNGs. And hit OK. So it's going to think for a second. And boom. If we go up to our Clips browser and pop open this folder, you can see we've got 20 UDIMs all laid out by the UDIM number and if we go to the folder you can see that the 20 images are in there and in the shader tree it's nice because it doesn't have 20 things all laid out here they're all inside this item here keeps everything nice and neat UDIM wizard awesome